now we are talking about the next video today where we will be discussing from question number 21 to question number 30 of aldehyde ketones uh, from ms elementary we are basically discussing the questions from chemical properties of aldehydes and ketones now question number 21 compare the rate of reaction of following with rmgbr so one thing which you have to understand is rmgbr is always going to generate r minus which can act as a nucleophile or it can act as a base depending upon the situation okay now here when we are talking about the rate of reaction we have to see the charge which is present on the carbon whether it is a, how strong the delta positive charge on the carbon is so we have three compounds we have ch3 co ch3 that is a ketone in which delta positive charge is getting reduced because of the plus i effect of two ch3s you talk about the aldehyde only one plus i is present so delta positive is relatively higher in case of aldehydes if you talk about by formaldehyde there is no plus i from hydrogen or plus i is there which is very very less and delta positive of this carbon is the highest hence here in case of formaldehyde the reaction will be fastest then in case of the normal aldehyde then they will be ketone so reaction will be fastest for a then b and then c in question number 22 we have been given a ketone and then we are reacting it with grignard reagent very very simple reaction multiple times we have discussed this that when we are talking about the grignard reagent grignard reagent my ph can act as nucleophile as well as base here the carbon has a delta positive charge so ph will go attack over here and will cause the formation of o minus so ch3 co minus mgbr et and ph will be formed then you'll supply h plus it will become the respective alcohol so this is your second reaction simple nucleophilic addition and the answer is according to this the answer would be your a now come to question number 23 in 23 they have given the acetaldehyde and they're reacting it with KCN and H3O plus they're asking what is the product going to be so we have acetaldehyde we have reacted with KCN it is a nucleophilic addition reaction so CN minus will go attack over here K plus will neutralize the oxygen so it will form OK and CN over here then H plus will attack to replace this K to form OH so it will be OH and CN over here okay so in this case find out the incorrect statements about the given reaction they have given four statements the first statement is it is a nucleophile nucleophilic addition reaction yes it is a nucleophilic addition reaction so a is correct uh, product obtained is present in the racemic mixture yes attack can happen from either way up down hence the product is gonna be a racemic mixture there is no stereochemistry specificity here in this reaction now and if the hydrolysis of the product of uh, if the hydrolysis of the obtained product gives the alpha hydroxy acid yes if you do the h3o plus to it you're gonna get uh, oh and coh and then last is it is an electrophilic addition reaction obviously it is wrong because it is a nucleophilic addition reaction so here a b c are correct so your option which is incorrect is option number d so question number 24 says the keq values of hcn addition reaction with the following aldehydes are in order so we have to find out the order here first thing what you have to understand is to find keq keq of the nucleophilic addition reaction is directly proportional to the delta positive of the c double bond o okay so that means faster the nucleophilic attack is going to be better will be the key eq value now if you see here here in this case we have a plus m group present on benzaldehyde here also plus m group is present and here nothing is present so delta positive is gonna be the highest for compound number two now comparing the compound number one and compound number three in compound number one we have oxygen which is stronger electronegative atom hence it will not give the electron density as much so its donating power is relatively lesser as compared to the nitrogen and hence when you compare their donation donating powers meo will have relatively lesser donation than me2n hence you will have the order of two then one and then three so delta positive will be slightly higher over here as compared to the third one so this is your question number 24 on the same concept we have question number 25 we have to find out the uh, arrange the following compounds in decreasing order of keq value of the hydride formation again keq value of any nucleophilic addition reaction in carbonyl compounds is, de is depending upon the amount of delta positive charge on the carbon of carbonyl group so here 
if these are the compounds given just see this is the base this is the main compound now here neither donation nor withdrawal is happening there is a certain amount delta plus over here when the chlorine is present the delta plus is increasing okay because it is exhibiting minus i charge no2 minus m bhi hai and minus i bhi hai so delta plus will be very high so if you arrange first second and third three will be better than two than one now come to the fourth one fourth one mein instead of withdrawal the donation is happening so donation is going to be worse than the first one so the order will be 3 2 1 4 so the option is a in question number 26 we have been asked to find the relation between k1 and k2 now uh, the equilibrium constant k1 or k2 for the nucleophilic addition reactions will depend upon how much is the delta positive charge on the uh, carbonyl carbon so more the delta positive charge here on this carbon faster is going to be the reaction so when when we are going to add h2 over here it should form coh oh and something like this so this is what exactly the reaction is going to be if i'm adding h2 similarly if i'm adding hcn let's suppose or kcn hcn then in that case this will become oh and cl so this is a forward direction though these reactions are reversible let's say k is the equilibrium constant of it faster the reaction is going to be higher the value of this k going to be now in the question which is given to us the reaction is written ulta that is opposite that means the product is being reversible and converting itself back into aldehyde and ketone so even the rate of reaction correlation will also become opposite so normal reaction may the k is higher if the speed of nucleophilic addition is higher that is when we are going in the forward direction when we are going in the backward direction the k value will be lower if speed is higher or nucleophilic addition is faster so that is the reason why for ketones uh, cyanohydrin is converting into ketone and the equilibrium constant is k1 and when the cyanohydrin is converting into uh, aldehyde it is k2 this is reverse reaction hence the order is also going to be reverse and that is the reason why k1 will be greater than k2 because it is reverse reaction so so faster the reaction is going to be towards the towards the halo hydrogen so lower will be the value of k is going to be so let me just repeat again what do i mean when i write the reaction when i say my ketone is converting into this there is a value of coefficient uh, there is a equilibrium value equilibrium coefficient value k1 this is going to be the expression if it is reverse there is going to be k1 dash so whatever the value of k1 dash is going to be that is going to be inversely proportional to the delta positive here the value of k1 is going to be directly proportional to the it is inversely proportional to delta positive of carbon this is in, this is directly k1 the which is moving towards forward direction is going to directly proportional to the delta positive of the carbon so here the k1 and k2 are the reverse reactions from product towards the reactant and that is why k1 is inversely proportional to delta positive of c double bond o so in case of in case of first one delta positive is less in case of second one delta positive is more hence k1 is more than k2 i hope you have understood this because we have used this concept before also in many questions so i think it should make sense to you now okay if you have still not understood you can ask me in the class come to question number 27 they are wanting to know two compounds have been given alcohol is in excess what is the major product formed in this reaction this reaction as we see clearly it is a, a ketal formation reaction where alcohol is given in excess and we have a ketone given so mechanism is same as the formation of acetal and um, ketal so h plus will attack the double bond o first forming the protonated oxygen and then when this bond will cleave at the same time this oxygen will attack on the carbon over here forming oh oh plus and cyclohexane so this is your semi ketal or hemi ketal sort of thing is forming then this h will be out to neutralize the oxygen and we will get set this kind of situation then again h plus will attack on the oh forming oh2 plus when this oh2 plus will be cleaving the bond at the same time on this carbon 
the another alcohol would be attacking same as in the first step of hemi acetal or hemi ketal now this is the situation which will happen your h2o will be out loss of h2 and o h plus will be formed h plus is out to neutralize oxygen and we will get the acetal formed by this reaction now let's talk about question number 28 what sequence of reactions would be best accomplish the following conversion so conversion is given here where we are our aldehyde is remaining as aldehyde and my and ketone is converting into alcohol so here you have to see the reactions very carefully if you do the option a that is nabh4 then it will reduce both it will reduce your aldehyde and alcohol both let's not talk about b right now b i'll explain you in the detailed solution KMnO4 is an oxidizing agent cannot be used. LiLH4 can also reduce your aldehyde and ketone both. Hydrogen and platinum will also reduce both. So basically, neither A, C, D and E are the options. Let's talk about B option. So B does the protection of the carbonyl group. So B is the uh, or you can say this reaction is used for this is this is what reaction? This is the acetal reaction and acetal reaction. Uh, acetal or ketal reaction is used for the protection of the group also so here exactly this is what we are looking for we are we, we are wanting our one particular group to be protected not getting affected by the reducing agent so we have taken ch2 oh and h plus it is forming the respective uh, uh, acetal and then you reduce the molecule when you'll reduce it your ketone will become alcohol and then to re-get or retrace the aldehyde back we are doing the hydrolysis of acidified hydrolysis of this of this ketal which will cleave the ether in such a way that oh oh will be formed over here this is like how ethers get hydrolyzed so ether ka hydrolysis is happening you're getting two oh over here and this original molecule which was attacking ch2 oh ch2 oh is retrieved back after this this geminal dial is not stable it will remove minus h2o and what you'll get is the aldehyde back over here so this is your option number b so in question number 29 we have to find out which one will, will give the positive hydroform test so which all compounds can give where your oh is on second position or the carbonyl ketonic aldehydic group on second position only these compounds can give the part of positive hydroform test so we have option number b as pentan 2 own and here you have c double bond o on the second position when it will attack with naoi when it will react with naoi it will form ci3 first Ci3CO and then NaOH will further attack on it, will oxidize it, will oxidize this part, will cleave this part and will form the respective uh, sodium salt of carboxylic acid of this part and CHI3 will be formed which is Ido form. So according to this the answer is B. Now let's talk about question number 30. In question number 30 it is given which of the following reagents is best used for the conversion of the given reaction. So here we have to convert our aldehyde to alcohol. But at the same time, look at the position of hydrogen and deuterium. So basically on carbon, the attack is happening and that attack should be your uh, deuterium attack. So that means that the reducing agent, what we require, must have a deuterium. So we have here the option of NABD4, which will give you D minus, which will attack on this carbon and which will attack on this carbon and will form O minus and D over here. After this, this O should get H plus or H plus from somewhere so we have H3O plus in the option number B which will give H plus and will convert it into this so this is your option number B